The way we think about it, careers and businesses and sports teams go from strength to strength. And usually they go from strength to strength because of hard work and perseverance. But in Psalm 84, where this phrase actually comes from, both of those assumptions are challenged. First of all, it is God's people who go from strength to strength. Uh, now, isn't that an attractive thought that actually it's people who go from strength to strength? We speak of impersonal things like the stock market going from strength to strength. But our experience of our own lives is often the very opposite. You know, in our green salad days, we might be full of life and vitality. But isn't it true that we go from strength to weakness? Isn't that our trajectory? That's the human condition, right? The strength in our youth and then weakness as we age. So how can we go from strength to strength? Such a trajectory goes against everything we know in nature. Well, listen to the context in Psalm 84 from verse 5. Psalm 84 from verse 5, Blessed are those whose strength is in you, Lord, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. And then verse 7, such people, they go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Notice how the believer is strong. Their strength is in God. And what does that mean for their strength to be in God? Well, consider this as an example. Uh, a guy comes to you and he says he's rich, okay? Now, you might expect that his riches are in his possession. But he says to you, no, no, my wealth is in my father's bank account. What's more, this money is earning interest. And one day it will come into my name. Right now, this guy, he doesn't have a penny to his name, actually. Nonetheless, you could say that his money is going from wealth to wealth because he has entrusted it to someone who gives it interest to, who multiplies it. That's kind of the picture of strength here in the Bible. The Christian, the believer, has no strength in themselves. Indeed, we step out into the world looking just like our Lord. We, we turn the other cheek, we walk the extra mile, we forgive our enemies, we answer evil with blessing. All of that looks very weak, doesn't it? Very weak. But actually, we have entrusted our strength to a Lord who, by His cross and resurrection, He knows how to turn such weakness into strength. So then, in all our weakness, our prayer is Psalm 84 verse 9. O oh God, look on our shield. Look with favor on your anointed one. Our strength is not in ourselves. We do not protect ourselves, but we have a shield in heaven who is strong enough for all of us. Another name for him is our anointed one, our Messiah. And he is our protection. He is our strength. So he is the one to whom we look. Just as the Father entrusts all things to Christ, so we entrust ourselves, our strength, to him. And that frees us up to look weak in this world. This is what Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. He says, I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. This is like investing uh, or, or your money being in your father's bank account, gaining interest. We entrust all things to him, and so we become stronger. But we become stronger in a way completely opposite to the way of the world. The world looks to its own strength, but only ends up going from strength to weakness. We, though, we look weak in ourselves, but we have a shield who is able to guard our strength and to give it back to us in the end with interest. In that way, in not looking to ourselves, our trajectory is completely different. We look weak, but we go from strength to strength. So then, Christian, don't believe the lie that the best is behind you. Do you ever get nostalgic like that? Do you ever look back to your green salad days and think, well, never again? Do you ever believe the lie that you are going from strength to weakness? That cannot be true if Christ is your strength. So then, as Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, he says, we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Christian, in Christ, every day you are going from strength to strength. Mm -hmm.